Hi everyone. Correlation or causation? Uh, that's what today's lesson is going to investigate and have a look at. So before we start, uh, I wanted to show you this website. It's called Spurious Correlations. And what it is is a resource where somebody has created a whole lot of graphs based on uh, data sets obtained, mostly American. Uh, and they've uh, correlated all sorts of things together that you wouldn't normally think might go together. Um, so there's an example here. The number of people who drowned by falling into a pool correlates with the films that Nicolas Cage appeared in. And you can see that the graphs here vaguely correlate. They go up and down uh, in the same years. Um, the per capita cheese consumption correlates with the number of people who died by becoming entangled in their bed sheets. Okay, uh, so that's a lot of fun. You can go right down to the bottom of the graph uh, of the page and you can discover a new correlation. Uh, the link for that is on the website um, and you get to just choose a variable. So you might uh, choose see what variables comes up with um, UK military defense spending for example you can select correlate and it comes up with a whole lot of things that it uh, correlates with so you can see here the number of people killed by hornets wasps and bees is a, actually quite a high correlation there so if we have we chart that and there you go um, it correlates quite well uh, so um, you can create your own correlation but more importantly you can move on to creating your own survey so that we can collect some data for our class and see what sort of spurious cor correlations we can come up with